Hi guys, uh, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel, The Tower Now. Today's a lazy day. Yesterday I had a whole day out. Went all out of town to Zipper. And uh, today I decided to just stay indoors. I woke up, had breakfast, and then I've just been just been like uh, on my bed watching YouTube. And I uh, really did nothing, watching TV, watching all that uh, all that stuff about Trump, all that, yeah, all that uh, political stuff on TV, and uh, stuff happening in Bangladesh, riots and all that, yeah, same as what's happening in Kenya, and then, uh, of course, I uh, always listen to what's happening back in Kenya, and uh, Ruto appointing the same people back, like it's a big joke, <laughs> yeah, uh, people have been killed, have been shot, and they appoint the same people back to security and um, also it's not really the face of Kenya which is a very sad thing it's just like uh, two tribes that are appointed into into cabinet uh, yeah actually like the Gen Z really wanted is for him to really resign and uh, dissolve parliament resign and uh, let's have a caretaker government that will take us through um, uh, getting the electoral body formed and uh, eventually taking us back to a new election because Kenyans have actually lost mandate in the government and they want a new, um, they, 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 they want like, uh, just like, like like it happened in uh, in the UK, you know, you call a snap election and the people, uh, it's like a referendum of the government and the people decide on who to elect, who to lead them, not necessarily like you sitting there on top and putting your weight down on, on everybody, yeah. That's not going to happen in this century. So, uh, so that's my take on what's happening in Kenya. That uh, the government, uh, uh, parliament needs to be dissolved, and uh, uh, that cabinet needs to be scrapped, and uh, and uh, we need to have a caretaker government, uh, a convention, a caretaker government. Uh, Ruto needs to resign. We have a caretaker government that will actually foresee. Um, the next uh, uh, an election that the people will have or will actually give mandate to rule them as of now because as of now the people have rejected the current government the Gen Z have rejected um, the current leadership and that leadership has to go because it's been rejected including Ruta himself they've been rejected by the people so they cannot just sit there on top there and impose themselves on Kenyans so that's my take as I uh, relax over here, as I observe what's happening in Kenya, and um, I will uh, I will make it a short video uh, that uh, again Kenyans have spoken. They have said Ruto must go. They don't want uh, musical chairs, removing Duale here, putting Kindiki there. That's just bullshit, you know. Yeah, that's clean. That slate, that plate needs to be swept clean. And we need a new crop of leaders. Um, the the salary of our top civil servants and uh, and uh, members of parliament needs to be reduced to not more than three hundred thousand. That's what's fueling corruption in politics because people see money. Yeah, people see money in parliament. So parliament needs to be dissolved. Rule needs to resign. We need to have a caretaker government to arrange for fresh elections. And that's what needs to be done right now in Kenya. And I'll just uh, post this. That's my take on on the musical chairs that Tuto seem to to be playing with Kenyans. Kenyans are not fools, you know. Fools. You can fool some people sometimes, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. Gen Z have spoken, and if the government doesn't listen to them, uh, it will eventually listen to them. Though. It will eventually listen to them, and it's time for the government to go the whole government to go legislature a clean sweep of uh, Ruto and his cabinet uh, Gashagua and his uh, Kate and his uh, shareholders all need to go um, my DVD sitting up there pretty having had a comfortable life all his life and sitting up there and uh, doing really nothing and earning taxpayers money these people need to go so we have a clean plate of leaders who are accountable to the people no corruption who will reduce the cost of living. That's what the Gen Z in Kenya want right now. And that's what Ruto must do. Ruto must go 
and Rutom must dissolve parliament so that Kenyans can elect new leaders. That, that playing around with Kenyans, musical chairs, and shuffling cabinet, that is bullshit. Kenyans have spoken. They want a new government. They want Ruto the, and the cabinet to go. They want the parliamentarians to go. They want a fresh group of people to lead the country. That's my take, and uh, I hope uh, Kenyans all over listen to this also and uh, take it upon themselves to liberate themselves because power belongs to the people. So, uh, so I, I know like after what has happened, after Ruto has done these musical chairs, uh, what will happen soon is that there will be demonstrations back on the street. And just like in Bangladesh happening right now, it's going, going to continue happening in Kenya. I don't see it stopping soon uh, based on exactly the trend of events that I've seen unfolding. Also with uh, Azimio and all this, um, everybody is trying to like uh, play it safe, but basically they're not listening. The leaders are not listening to the Kenyan people. They don't listen to the Gen Z. The Gen Z say we don't want these musical chairs. We want Ruto to dissolve parliament. We want him to resign. We want a caretaker government, and we want a clean plate of leaders. A clean, all new group, clean group of leaders. So, so that's my take, and. Uh, uh, you guys continue watching and love you guys to the beach and back as I vacation over here. Mm. Ciao.